How did Sanchai figure out how to do Muay Thai different than anybody? It's hard to express how amazing Sanchai is. He is the best of the best, not just of this generation, of any generation. He is up there with the greatest Muay Thai fighters of all time. Every time he steps into the ring, we can witness just how out of this world his talent is. He is so respected that even when his opponents lose to him, they show tremendous respect. Genius is a word that is often overused, but it's safe to say that Sanchai is truly a genius of Muay Thai. No other Muay Thai fighter can fight for decades and seem to hardly slow down like Sanchai, still making it look easy to this day. This is proven by the fact that at 42 years old, he is on a 70 fight win streak. Never has there been a fighter who can switch from fun to devastation like Sanchai. And even more incredible is that most of his opponents are monsters too. In this video, we're going to record the 14 best knockouts performed by Sanchai and enjoy the poetry in motion. Learning from the greatest coach of all time, Pipa, as well as the legend Somrak, Sanchai fused the best of boxing with the best of Muay Thai. Combined with training partners such as Lerzilla, Sanchai's unique footwork and focus on speed will make him untouchable in Muay Thai. The fusion of great footwork and having superior speed enhance the already hard to beat style of Muay Thai, which normally focuses on stability and power. And yet many of his opponents still believe it'll be a good idea to mock their legend. What a terribly sad mistake that is. Let's see how Sancho knocks out those who dare to mock him. Here's 14 of his most impressive knockouts. Sanchai vs Jonathan Tuhu Against Tuhu, a super jacked fighter known for his aerial spinning kick knockouts, Sanchai came out again with a shuffle. Then he tried a bunch of his signature moves from the jumping teep to the jumping roundhouse. Tuhu reacted well, but Sanchai was eventually able to get a slick sweep. When Tuhu swung a big left hook and missed, Sanchai taunted him by leaning forward and smiling. When Tuhu threw a power low kick and missed, Sanchai waved him on by hitting his own leg. Then in a weird moment, Tuhu stuck his hand out to fist bump Sanchai, and when Sanchai went to fist bump too, Tuhu pulled away and started dancing. In the next round, Tuhu started the round with a push kick to Sanchai's nuts. That made Sanchai pull up his shorts. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. Tuhu then push kicked Sanchai to the nuts again, but this time, Sanchai parried it. This seemed to anger Sanchai and he got serious, hunting for left crosses. Eventually, he found a mark when Tuhu swung for an overhand and missed and Sanchai pulled back and countered with a perfect left cross as Tuhu fell forward. When Tuhu went for his signature tornado kicks, Sanchai just backed away and started to laugh. Then he clapped for Tuhu to mock him. When Tuhu threw a kick, Sanchai caught Tuhu's right hand and pulled it down to clear the entry for the cross. Sanchai seemed to be friends with the opposing corner, so when he drank his friend's water, he spat it out back at them. Tuhu started to do spinning kicks for some reason as Sanchai celebrated on the ground. Sanchai vs Nedo Gomba Gomba is a fighter infamous for hitting his ex-girlfriend, but he seems to respect Sanchai because he randomly bowed to him during the fight. When Sanchai charged in, Gomba almost landed a check hook that off-balanced Sanchai. Then he tried to jump and kick Sanchai, which resulted in him getting swept flying into the air. When Gomba caught Sanchai's roundhouse, we saw how supreme his balance was. No matter what Gomba did, Sanchai remained perfectly in balance. That was when Gomba realized he was outmatched. The next time Gomba caught Sanchai's leg, it was actually Gomba that got swept to the ground. That is how powerful Sanchai's hips are. Sanchai then decided he wanted to end the fight and stalked Gomba down, trapped his lead hand and went for the power cross to finish the fight again. Sanchai vs Henrique Miller Henrique is one of the tallest fighters Sanchai has ever fought. He's good too, having knocked out an all-time great fighter named Pampayak. Against Sanchai, he came out swinging for the fences. But then the master fought back, and although the giant was getting overwhelmed, he was loving it. But he turned more serious when Sanchai caught his kick, and Ariel kicked him as he was falling. When the giant got up, he tried to pressure Sanchai more, but it didn't work so well. Sanchai landed beautiful elbows and push kicks, as well as landing combinations at will. 
But Muller was clearly a big fan of Sanchai and was experiencing extreme battle joy against him. He was having so much fun. To combat the smiling, Sanchai fed him two crosses. Then they started playing and laughing and kissing again when Sanchai climbed onto the giant to fake an elbow and then kissed. When Muller went for a rear teep, Sanchai caught it and went into a signature cartwheel kick, which he landed flush with the knee. They both fell down, but both got up looking super happy. But as Muller kept laughing, Sanchai kept feeding him crosses. And when Sanchai remained relentless and ruthless, he cornered the giant and put him down with a beautiful combination. Muller survived the round, but when the next round began, Sanchai landed the best question mark kick that he's ever thrown. When he raised his knee, the giant thought it was a body kick and went to block it, but this left the head exposed for a perfect landing. Muller even smiled on the way down, but he could no longer smile after he fell to the floor. After the fight, Muller and Sanchai embraced with a deep hug and then Sanchai kissed everyone in the ring. Sanchai vs Gabriel Dos Santos During the stare down before the fight, the opponent decided it would be a good idea to push Sanchai. Sanchai humbly said it's okay to the officials on stage, who were very powerful men, connected to every type of leader in society, and escorted the young fighter off the stage himself. When the fight began however, Sanchai was no longer kind. The warrior is no longer in the garden, and he's now a lion hunting his prey. Sanchai knew there was no need to teach this fighter a lesson outside of the ring because he knew his opponent was about to face the biggest test of his life inside of the ring. In the beginning of the fight, Sanchai came forward to test Gabriel's offense. Immediately, Sanchai got his leg caught in between the ropes and the opponent tried to attack him anyway. The illegal move woke up Sanchai's fight energy and that is a scary thing for anyone, no matter the opponent. It was clear that Sanchai took this personally, so he waved the opponent on to say, Ok you want to fight? Time to give you one, young Padawan. From being a counter fighter, Sanchai turned into an aggressive fighter. He was hunting his opponent down and nearly landed a flying kick which would have ended the fight. Right after Sanchai put him down, he walked away like a badass. With dominance established, he brought out all of his showmanship antics, more than we have ever seen before. These antics include flying teeps to the face, hitting the ropes with his hands, laughing at his opponent as he misses, pulling up his shorts, tapping his head with his jabbing hands. Sanchai did it all within a few mere seconds after the knockdown. Then he proceeds to go on a 10 hit combination with most of the strikes landing. After playing around with his prey, he decides it's now the time to drop him again. This time, he chose the signature cross the knee, which is done by distracting and blinding the opponent with the cross to set up a perfect opening for the knee. When his opponent got up, Sanchai sent him flying again with an aerial sweep. While being an absolute badass, Sanchai never stops being a comedian. He entertained the crowd with a spinning kick to end the round and getting his leg stuck in the ropes. After struggling for a few moments, he got his leg out and started dancing for the crowd. These antics are why endless amounts of fans show up to watch him fight. In the final round, Sanchai went for another 8 hit combination with an overhand elbow and a knee to the face landing flush. When his opponent went down, in another showcase of complete dominance, Sanchai started kneeing the ropes after the opponent fell. What could be more discouraging than that? Now desperate, the opponent decided it would be a good idea to throw a spinning back fist. And that's when Sanchai decided to stop playing around with his food and ended the fight. He backed the opponent up with his signature question mark kick followed by face teep, and then his signature cross the knee combination again. With three knockdowns in total, the fight is over. The arrogant opponent was brought to his knees over and over again in this fight. Although Sanchai gave him a much needed lesson in life, he went over to hug him immediately and even kissed him. They embraced with hugs after the fight, it was all love. Sanchai vs Stanislav Patrakov. This fight didn't last very long. In the opening round, the opponent threw a right kick, which Sanchai blocked and countered with a left cross to the body. He then threw a face teep and blitzed him with a Superman left cross into power right jab into another cross. When the opponent got up and rushed in to clinch, 
Sanchai pinched down on the opponent's underhook and threw an overhand elbow that ended the fight. This is a classic golden era technique that not many people know about. Sanchai vs Adiol Freitas. In this fight, Sanchai goes up against a multiple time world champion that is about 40 pounds bigger than him. Sanchai is the one moving forward and pressuring, but when Adiolton hits back, Sanchai was visibly affected. When Sanchai was starting to read his opponent well, he started to throw his signature attacks. But when Sanchai threw the cartwheel kick, Adiolton blocked it and hit a beautiful kick in attempt to sweep. This of course is legal, but Sanchai showed an angry face and Adiolton immediately bowed and apologised. This gave away all the momentum and Sanchai started putting on a show. The giant had his moments at pressing forward with his punches, hitting Sanchai clean once. When the giant tried to sweep him, Sanchai reversed the throw when the opponent went for a knee. He landed beautifully in side control, showing us that if Sanchai wanted to do MMA, he would have likely done great. Throughout the fight, Sanchai kept finding his mark. But what led to a knockdown was when Adiolton threw a knee. Sanchai blocked it with his forearm and levered the momentum to throw an overhand left. He rocked his opponent again right after with the same cross when the giant threw an inside low kick. Sanchai then landed 10 strikes in a row and then landed another 10 punches to finish the fight like it man. Sanchai vs Stephen Malidi Against Stephen Malidi, an Irish world champion, Sanchai looked slick from the start. He dodged all of the high kicks thrown against him and countered Malidi beautifully. He almost kneed Sanchai to the nuts but Sanchai was indifferent about it. But the show really got started when Sanchai went for the car wheel kick. At this point, everyone was loving it. Both fighters exchanged for five seconds with each other, and when Sanchai climbed onto Milidi, he showed a downward elbow and kissed his opponent instead. The Irish fans loved it. Throughout the fight, Sanchai was dominant in catching kicks and countering Milidi with it. To get the first knockdown, Sanchai again caught Milidi's kick, and fired multiple left crosses as his opponent was on the retreat. When the opponent rushed in to throw a left hook, it was met by Sanchai's check hook. Eventually, as Sanchai dominated the fight, the referee stopped it. Liam Harrison went to hug Sanchai, but was rejected the hug. Sanchai climbed onto the ropes and did a primal yell like a general who just won a hard battle. Unfortunately, this was at a school gymnasium, instead of a stadium like it should be. Sanchai vs Craig Dixon At the very start of the fight, Dixon mocked Sanchai's hip dancing. This angered Sanchai and made him go for a face deep right away. Sanchai then went after Dixon, landing strike after strike without any response. Eventually, Sanchai landed a jumping face deep and that made him happy. He also knocked Dixon to the floor with a teep. When he did the shuffle, Dixon mocked him again by doing the shuffle. Then after landing some solid shots, Sanchai did the hip dance and the shuffle and Dixon no longer mocked him anymore. When Sanchai got kicked to the leg, he smacked his own leg and used the squat to jump into a flying kick. In the next round, Sanchai scored extremely well, doing whatever he wanted to do to Dixon. After a push kick, he faked another push kick to switch into an orthodox jab and left knee. As the knee lands, he grabbed Dixon on the neck and landed a beautiful lead right elbow. This would later become one of his signature attacks. Dixon was now in survival mode, but kept moving forward like a warrior. Sanchai threw a body shot that rocked him, but he got up right away and kept fighting. But once Sanchai finds a weakness, he is ruthless with it. So a few moments later, he threw the same shot again and the referee stopped the fight. After the fight, Craig looked super defeated when Sanchai kissed him, but that's what you get for mocking the greatest of all time. However, Sanchai's next opponent did not learn from Dixon and made Sanchai even angrier. Sanchai vs Gilles Barash In the start of this fight, Sanchai did a signature shuffle in what seemed like forever. When Sanchai climbed onto Gilles to throw a downward elbow, he was tossed to the ground. Gilles then mocked Sanchai by shuffling, and Sanchai was immediately angry. He pulled his shorts up. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Sanchai then went on a combination attack right away, landing everything he wanted. He continued to press Gilles to the ropes. Then he blocked Gilles' lead hand, faked a lead kick which made Gilles attempt to grab, 
fakes a cross which made Gillis lean and then threw a jumping high kick which knocked Gillis out. Here's Asian Justin Bieber going crazy on the knockout. Sanchai told me that if he didn't knock out Gillis with his kick, he would have had to forfeit the match because he couldn't walk after. That's right, he kicked Gillis so hard with his kick that he hurt his own foot. Maybe fighters should think twice before mocking Sanchai. Sanchai vs Alessio D'Angelo Against Alessio, Sanchai was in charge of the fight from the very beginning. You can tell how in charge Sanchai is by when he decides to throw the cartwheel kick. If he throws it right away, you know that he's ready to dominate because the cartwheel kick is a high risk high reward technique. To finish the fight, Sanchai controlled the opponent's lead arm as he explosively tie hopped. When the opponent tried to throw a left hook, based on the opening that Sanchai gives him, Sanchai finished Alessio with his signature high kick against the hook once again. Sanchai knew he wasn't going to get up from it and celebrated with kisses towards the crowd. What is most touching about this fight is how Sanchai hugged Alessio after the fight and carried him to the corner. Alessio kissed Sanchai and then gave him a deep bow of respect. Sanchai vs Charles Francois Francois is one of the best French Muay Thai fighters and a world champion. To begin the fight, Sanchai shuffled again. Francois tried to pressure Sanchai but got swept immediately. Now Sanchai signals with his arms to say, what are you going to do about it? After that, he knew he had the momentum and started to throw his signature shuffle to teep and flying kicks. This got Francois chasing, but Sanchai swept him into the corner once again, which made Sanchai happy and he started to hip dance. When Francois charged forward to pin Sanchai onto the ropes, he climbed up again to feint the downward elbow. The battle joy in Sanchai's face is so apparent, it's obvious he lives for fighting. What happens next is the biggest schooling we have ever seen in Muay Thai. After Francois throws a rear push kick, Sanchai grabs the leg, hops in explosively, fakes a kick, and as the opponent panicked, he grabbed the back of his head to circle around him and fire a kick to his back. This is legal in Muay Thai, but Francois didn't know, so Sanchai signaled him to stop complaining. When Francois charged forward to throw combinations, Sanchai defended all of it and waved him on for more. But when Sancho threw, all of his strikes landed flush, and he was in full showman mode now. The first knockdown happened when Sancho decided he wanted to throw an overhand. There wasn't much of a setup. Sancho was just too good with his timing and fired it right down the middle. He chased Francois down and threw another left cross for another knockdown. But Francois is a warrior, and got up again and survived the rest of the round. In the next round, Francois thought it would be a good idea to pressure Sancho and chase him down but that's when Sanchai exploded into another left cross to finish the fight. Sanchai again carried his opponent to the corner and kissed him after the fight. Sanchai vs Alejandro Amikusi Against Amikusi, Sanchai went on the offensive right away. He cornered the fighter and launched a flying kick and a 9 hit combination on his opponent. After the combination, the opponent ran away from Sanchai. He let out some primal punches into the air with a mean face. Sanchai then landed 16 strikes in a row. <laughs> to finish this fight, Sanchai engaged with a teep into a sweep, followed by a right knee to the sternum. This rocked Emikusi, and Sanchai launched another knee to the head as the opponent was going down. Sanchai kissed and hugged Alejandro after the fight multiple times. Sanchai vs Topic Abdulev. Sanchai came out shuffling again and Topic countered it well with an inside low kick. Topic then continued to low kick multiple times and was doing well on landing them. But then Sanchai decided to bring out his full arsenal and Topic had a really tough time dealing with the variety. Sanchai started to find the body shot with his left cross and left knee again and landed it over and over until Topic went down. Sanchai vs Javad Big Delhi Javad started this fight by throwing a roundhouse straight to Sanchai's nuts. When Sanchai landed a flush left cross, Javad decided it would be a good idea to taunt Sanchai. He dropped his hands and leaned forward, which made Sanchai go on the offensive right away. When Sanchai swept Javad, he put his hand in front of his face and offered him a hand up. Throughout the round, 
Sancho continued to punish his opponent, but Javad's confidence was still riding high. Every time Sancho landed something nice, Javad got up and put on the swagger of a badass. When the next round began, Sancho landed a beautiful knee to Javad's sternum. This made Javad drop his hands and ask for more again, so Sancho started to punish him to the body. Javad had a warrior spirit and tried to pressure Sancho, but after he tried, Sancho basically said, my turn. The beautiful knees to the body continued over and over again, and this time, Javad acknowledged them with a nod instead of a taunt. Sancho knew that his opponent was feeling the shots, and now even his own taunts and feints were making Javad panic. Knowing his opponent's weakness now, the knee and body shot attacks continued. When Sancho landed another very good knee to the body, Javad again taunted him by asking for more, so Sancho obliged, and landed three more knees to drop Javad. It was a ruthless cross to knee combination, followed by a knee to the head, and an overhand elbow, and another knee to Javad's head on the way down. The confident fighter could not get up, and Sancho went over to hug and kiss his opponent right after. Javad looked defeated after the bout, but still hugged Sancho like a great sportsman. To this day, Javad has been looking for a rematch. This was Sancho's 14 legendary knockouts. What do you think of the Muay Thai legend? Please let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Here's a message from Sanchai if you haven't already. Long, eh? Kenching. Video really good.